Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to another day in Minecraft here in just another creative world. Uh, this is one I created a few years back and then uh, almost forgot about it until this series came around. And now it's very relevant because we have this contraption in this world and this is basically a tunnel bore that can uh, go down pull blocks up as you can see from that hole and i believe this contraption around here can even um, remove the blocks from the bore so the bore can go again. So we have here the middle part that's flying machine, then this is the push mechanism, this one is pulling and then down here we have another uh, push uh, that is responsible for pulling up the blocks. So let's see how that goes. Very nice, and as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks we get out of it. And if I press this button, then all blocks are removed from the bore, and um, we can see how to process them further because that's as far as I got and um, basically what we want to do is have these eight blocks feed into a block stream and seeing that we are using slime blocks here that can be a bit difficult because um, uh, if we push something adjacent to a slime block that will stick. So I think the first thing that we should try to do is uh, replace the slime blocks with uh, sticky pistons uh, and see if that then still works. And the answer is yes, it can be done without any slime blocks. And this is pretty compact. So if we have a signal there, it's not all at the same time, but we get every stone block out. So now the question is, how do we get them uh, actually uh, where we need them? We want to have them in a block stream. And that way, uh, we need to get them further out and these two they are probably the easiest ones uh, but then these on that side i am not sure uh, i'm thinking either we uh, push them up or we move them down pushing up would be could be a bit difficult because uh, the stone that we pull out is at this level and all the way up is the flying machine but uh, i will have to see i mean these two blocks they need to be blocks but basically it could also be uh, something like this um, where we have um, uh, 
uh, the, the, the blocks pushed up. And we really need to uh, make sure that uh, we cannot push these right up because then they would again be on the side of uh, of this one. So maybe we could move these up. and then out and then in and then maybe push those up once and uh, then pull them back and uh, uh, retrieve them that way and that would probably mean it would be helpful if uh, these two uh, actually stay attached down there until we get those above out of the way. So let me think about that a bit and uh, with uh, these moving about, we have to make sure that we do not uh, have any uh, thing powered that we don't want to be powered. So maybe I'm thinking instead of redstone, let's uh, use um, observers, at least where we need them. The problem with this setup is that it is quite compact, uses double piston extenders to unhook the blocks, but then it gets very difficult to get in any mechanism and uh, precisely power it to get the blocks then further out. So, I thought maybe we use other flying machines to get them to the, get the blocks of the thing. Because then we can pull the blocks through the back so they are out of the way and then have the necessary space to uh, align the blocks and bring them into a block stream. So the only question that I have here is Does this also work? Because previously it was blocked by the uh, obsidian right behind, uh, but we do not want to, uh, to push that. No, that does not work. So, actually, what we have to ensure is that Hmm, does this perhaps work? Because on the other side, we also have, have stone blocks. And if we reach the push limit, then the piston will return. Nope. But we, I mean, we can harvest, remove these two blocks last because with this setup here on this side, we do have a bit of space to uh, get the 
the pistons up. But let's see. Here at the bottom we have six blocks. What if we add these here? Just make the top part of the flying machine a bit heavier. Mm, yeah, that broke it. Because now the top flying machine did not come back all the way. So back to the drawing board. I think we are on to a winner here. Here we have the double layered flying machine, which is triggered by the door. So both machines start simultaneously. That's important because otherwise uh, the uh, uh, non-honey non blocks would stick to the other machine. And the way to basically uh, ensure that the flying machine does not push the thing over is we extend these back pistons here so uh, that makes the, the whole thing immovable and uh, only retract the thing when the flying machine is on the way back. And I can simulate that by uh, this flicking this lever on and then back off and as we can see all stone blocks are off the slime block there. So the next step is uh, then of course getting the stones from these uh, locations into a single block stream. But that will definitely be a project for another episode and I'm not sure if we will continue next time here or if we are back to our other redstone problems uh, that we still have to solve. But stay tuned and find out. Until then, goodbye!